Hello, my love bugs. Once again, it's your girl, Lumi Love, here with another message from the divine. As I always say, today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden out your heart, for I'm just a messenger, and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for your likes, subscribe, shares, and views. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. Let me go ahead and get into it with another one. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, <clears throat> thank you again for divine guidance Clear communication and divine protection. What we got going on for the collective? Soul tribe. God damn, you got a whole... <laughs> I ain't giving no time. I hope they don't mess with my monetization. Anyways, um, you, you, you got a whole group of people who are collectively working on one voodoo doll. This is the weakest... Y'all, if it take... 10 of y'all to work on one voodoo doll to work on one person you got to know y'all weak as hell let's get into it why are they trying to do this to you oh uh, because you're having a new start let me get this other card all right because you're having a new start you beat the odds there's like a community of people maybe that you grew up with you thought were friends of you that are working on this voodoo doll behind your back because they're upset you cut them off and you living good like I said, you're having a brand new start. You're moving forward. These people just some fucking uh, clout chasers. Yes. They stun on social media. Clout chase. All right. They don't want you to be who you're destined to be. So that's why they're trying to use this voodoo doll to manipulate you. So that you don't get on this new start. They wanted to try to trick you. Uh, yeah. Tricked you in the past. Talked about you. Played in your face. Past judgment on you, all kind of bullshit. Meanwhile, you are still working hard on your craft. Um, I'm hearing shine on my face. Got the thing on my waist. Okay, you the boss lady. So you were making your money doing what you needed to do. Obviously, these people decided because you were different, decided to turn on you. You didn't give a damn. You cut them off and kept moving. And now these people are upset because you don't want to deal with their mess. You don't want to take them back. You don't want to uh, entertain them. Yeah, that makes them very, very jealous. Because, see, they didn't have no real interest in you anyway. These were situational supporters. But a group of narcissistic motherfuckers, and you tell them no collectively, oh, all they're going to do is sit around. and some. Well, if they sit around and they gossip about you, that's considered a coven, okay? So all they're going to do is sit around and they little bitty little coven, talking about how they wish you didn't have this and wish you didn't have that. Wanting revenge. And it's like somebody out of the group that kind of was like, I don't want to say a neutral person, but this person was covert. All right, if they didn't like you, they didn't like you on the strength of everybody else, but they messy enough to speak on you when you're doing good around these people because, I mean, these people fight with each other, but they thought they were going to gang up on you just like they think they're going to gang up on this voodoo dog. <laughs> Ooh, I'm hearing Chucky. It's going down. Basement. Somebody doing something in their basement. Somebody doing something in their basement with this voodoo dog, and I'm telling you, I'm getting goosebumps, doing it for money, doing it for entertainment, doing it for all that, but you're divinely, divinely protected. I'm telling y'all, these people finna have to cleanse that basement, cleanse that house, cleanse their ass ASAP. This, this voodoo doll finna start moving. This doll is going to terrorize these people. This doll is going to be taking things, hiding things, making noise all night so they can't sleep. They're upset because maybe you have a platform or you're out here, you know, um, just selling your business, whatever it is that you do. Yeah, I'm telling you, this dog is gonna fucking start. Um, this this dog is gonna show these people something different. Something about they tried to sacrifice you using this dog because they wanted a piece of the pie. They just wanted some of your cash, and they were gonna try to invite you to a party, maybe and poison your food, take advantage of you, sacrifice you. All right, but uh, like I said, you are uh, protected. I heard the Holy Spirit have you protected. And these people at this celebration are going to get tortured, y'all. Lights going to flicker on and off. They not going to know what to do. All these hunters wanted to invite you to this little party, okay? Because they were hating on you for your blessings. You had a copycat energy that wanted to be you that was going to be the one to try to take your life for a spiritual level up. 
this person is having blockages and being spiritually attacked with this chaos magic okay so it could have been a feminine that was dealing with this group of people that was telling her okay so it was a group of people working against you but it was one feminine in charge one person who wanted to be you, the copycat energy, the one that thought she had the same powers or gifts as you. I'm hearing anything you can do, I can do better. So this feminine didn't have any teaching. She doesn't know anything. She don't know jack shit, but she felt like because you're shining doing it, it'll look good on her on the internet. So she want to take you out of your position so she can wear it because she feels like she can wear it better. All right. So this might have been her plan to manipulate this voodoo doll, but it's also another group of people that she's also involved in that wanted to get you to this party. Um, they were going to do some sort of seance on your ass to try to get some sort of spiritual level up. No cap. You would have passed out and woke back up. They would have had your ass tied to some shit using your real body like a voodoo doll. I'm hearing trying to stick pins in it. Some sort of torturing ritual. So when this doll gets up, when this doll manifests a, an entity within itself, this doll is going to poke and prick their ass and make them feel like they have nothing but needles poking them. This doll is going to sit on this woman's chest when she goes to sleep. Y'all, this is some wild S-H-I-T, but I'm telling you, this doll is going to torture these people. And they're not going to be able to see it in the physical. Ooh, excuse me. They're not going to be able to see it in the physical. I'm getting everything's going to happen kind of like in a dream state. Like on movies, you know, when people be sitting in the bed doing nothing, next thing you know, something crawl on them and they go to scream and bloody murder and then everybody else in the room looking at them like, are you okay? This woman is being tortured by a fucking voodoo doll. She wanted to try to stop your new success to get a spiritual level up to, you know, put it on for the internet so she could sell coochie. She wanted to have success, all right? But she's upset because you've already received your spiritual level up now and she's already missed okay so this got to be a divine union not only you walking in your purpose but this copycat energy was also in this group talking shit about you because you're about to be in a divine union and she wanted to be sleeping with this person on the side she was doing love spells on them and trying to put poison in their drinks but i'm getting they stopped drinking her shit they didn't want to drink her stuff whatever it was was making her look enchanting to them so that she could sell coochie and this person beat the eyes because they see nothing but pure bliss with you so this person not only you this divine person also will he's divine now because choosing you also gave him a spiritual level up turning down this karmic energy that was trying to lead him down the wrong road all right he wants to be with you and only you you took back your energy he took back his energy so whatever love spell she was doing didn't work now he uh oh it didn't work for her i'm hearing it backfired and made him want you even more because both of you guys are divinely protected his ancestors told him not to drink or take anything from this feminine so it could have been a spiritual download he got in his sleep or whatever but uh, this person really cares for you. I think he knows that these people were trying to uh, extort you in some sort of way. Or this woman was trying to extort him by getting pregnant. All right, what else we got on this dog? Because that's what I'm trying to get in. Pure bliss. Yeah, he genuinely cares for you. <laughs> I'm here. I like. Did, did it. <laughs> I like, he don't like this girl because she always got a hand out. She broke his tail big. And, all right, then we got this other untrustworthy person that was trying to be sneaky in this group. He all about money, big ass ego. He was very shocked when he couldn't do no love spells on you. Um, This is a person who really thought he had a high social status. And he's just uh, chasing clout now because you have a high social status. And he needs help because some sort of secrets he had is coming out about him trying to hex and curse you and start some spiritual warfare. Also for your divine masculine. Yeah, this person wanted to get the attention from you and wanted to block you from this masculine. So maybe he knows this masculine and he was like, yeah, y'all come over here and drink and whatever, what else? But the masculine turned their ass down. So he was trying to tell your divine masculine to pull up. You know, they having a party, they drinking, whatever, what else? To try to get him to be with this copycat. Because this copycat was planning on putting something in his drinks. Alright. Then they was going to try to get you on the flip side. And invite you to some little party. And get this masculine to poison your food. And then all of them was going to do some damn seance in that motherfucker on you. Alright. These people thought they were slick. They thought they were going to be able to get this done. And it did not happen. Okay. So give me some more on why this woman is suffering with this dog. 911 was just on my phone, y'all. This woman is <laughs> someone, please call 911. This woman is really lost her mind, y'all. Tell them I have been shot down and the bullets in my heart. <laughs> she's upset that she can't get nowhere with this masculine. Yeah, she's upset she can't get nowhere with this masculine and he only wants to be with you. She can't cause no stalemate for it. She can't cause no truce. She said if he would have let her in just a little bit, she would have been able to 
she would have been able to get what she wanted. But see that that two of swords I just saw is giving me very much that doll. That doll is purposely there to torture her so that she can stop. Let me get this other card. Yeah, torturing her so she can stop. I'm getting um, the doll is keeping her busy. I'm telling you, it's like she might feel like she having little pricks on the bottom of her feet. She might feel like something pricking her in her sleep. She might wake up with cuts and scratches. She she's been trying to do everything to break this relationship up. She's not. She's heavily burdened. And it's crazy because she's not paying attention. Like this woman just be like, I got sticks and pricks all on me. It's like it's not registering her in her mind that everything she's doing to this doll is being done to her. Why she trying to go to sleep? That's why she can't go to sleep. She's upset about this new cycle. She's been trying to do all kind of magic to defeat you. and you, She was trying to stop y'all from even getting together in the first place. And that shit didn't work. Okay, This whole group of friends was trying to stop y'all from getting together. Period. Because they saw that y'all were going to be a power couple. Okay. So these two is egotistical or this whole group of egotistical bitches. That's why they fight with each other all the time. Because they don't want... It's, it's crabs in a bucket. And they were upset that two crabs made it to the top and was about to crawl out. Was helping each other crawl out. Okay. You and this other masculine, they were upset that you and this masculine were helping each other out. They could see that you guys were going to be a power couple, and they didn't want that. They wanted all the power and the fame and the attention for themselves, all right? <clears throat> but this whole group now is financially juggling. Some of them are mentally juggling. Um, They're upset you guys have unlimited possibilities. They're upset that this masculine is thinking rationally and coming toward you. Um, Thinking about awarding you is all I'm hearing. He's being very disciplined as well. He don't want to deal with them. The, the 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 masculine that tried to invite him somewhere for the feminine or the feminine. All right. He knows they're trying to hold him back from his victory. And he's not going to let them do it. They wanted him stuck in his mind and, and, and upset, haunted by loss, not knowing why he has this void in him. And they wanted to trap you and just abuse you. They just want to take you out and put you in little pieces. That's what I'm hearing. I don't understand. Maybe mentally keep you trapped as well by sticking all these pins in, in your head and your body, make you sick. But in turn, that's what happened with them. This woman is mentally trapped and this masculine can't sleep at night because he can't have his way. Okay. <laughs> these people planned this together. They had to. They most definitely did. Both of them was like, okay, you get her to do this and I'm going to get him to do this. And then we both going to be able to, you know, have a brand new start like we want. It's not happening. They're upset that you're very good at business. That's one thing for sure. I guess this masculine figure like, um, maybe at one point he was helping you out and then you started making money off of what you were doing. Okay, so he might have invested in you and he was jealous that whatever he invested in you, you didn't stay down. You were actually building yourself up. So he was like, I'm going to just pull my hand back because you ain't getting no money off of me. And he just didn't realize that you don't need him. You're clever as hell. He's disappointed because none of that shit worked. You didn't need him. You didn't need <laughs> You didn't need this whole group of people. In turn, they needed you. They tried to spy on you in secret, work with you, play in your face just to take your offers to other people. All right, you could have been giving these people advice, giving these people ideas, and they were stealing each and every one of them, not including you, trying to work quicker than you, trying to have all the attention. Now they're looking at you from afar like, this motherfucker's still doing whatever she need to do. They don't want to accept minor defeat and move on, okay? This masculine want to come back and try to get with you before this king of cups doing this woman want to get with him before he get with you because she want his money both of them just want to deceive you out of this relationship or this whole group just wants us to deceive you guys out of this divine relationship but it's not going to happen both of you guys are thinking rationally y'all are smarter than this whole group of clowns is what i heard this whole group of magicians um that keep trying to send this magic towards y'all i'm hearing like she keep trying to send sex magic to him and he keep trying to send sex magic to you and it's just not gonna work all right, this female is going to, well, is sick as hell for over manipulation of magic and some shit she did in the cemetery. That's why it's a spirit binded to that doll because whatever left the cemetery with her jumped into that doll. Shoot. What the hell? This doll repeatedly whispers your good, like st good stuff that happened to you. Whispers this to this this woman in her in her sleep, <laughs> and it makes her stay up sometimes. This very over opinionated, selfish, masculine is suffering defeat because of your spiritual growth. Oh, and a prophecy because 
the truth is coming out about you. He was trying to say you probably were some sort of hoe. Sleeping with him in a third party while he was with another feminine. But you are coming out as truthful because you're standing up toward this person and you're making your own money. So like I said, this person was going around trying to tell people that he was the reason that you had this and this, that, and the third. Trying to bring you down. And now you out here making it on your own and he ain't got jack shit. So that's proving to everybody else, okay, he's a liar. As far as this feminine... What's going on with her and the voodoo doll? <laughs> Damn. Emotional instability and bad news. I'm telling you, unrealistic. This woman going to the fucking crazy house. Her mind is gone. This doll is going to continue to torture her. That's her being stuck in purgatory. She's in purgatory right now. Hell yeah. She's in purgatory right now. Oof. All right, y'all. This is it. This is all my loves. I'm going to clean this one off and we will get into another for this evening. All right. So, meet me in the next one. Uh -huh.